All right, welcome to another episode of Man Up. Ah, I'm in a squeaky chair. I'll sit very still. I also don't want to make a ton of sudden noises because filming this podcast because my dog is sleeping and that gives me uh, an opportunity to talk about something. So it's going to be a quick podcast. It's going to be about two lessons I learned from this book I'm reading. The book is The Practicing Mind, uh, Developing Focus and Discipline in Your Life, Thomas M. Sterner. We're going to have two challenges in, eh, three I guess, we'll have three challenges in this podcast today. Uh, challenge number one is going to go with reading. I started reading 37 pages a day uh, to get around 250 pages in a week, which is about the size of a normal book, so this took me... I don't want to do math. I don't know how many days it took me. Four days? Just under four days. It's 137 pages. 37. Something like four days. And uh, really good book. I'm not rushing through them. Uh, I'm just I'm getting up between 4 and 4.30. Reading for about 45 minutes. Reading once in the afternoon and once before I go to bed. I'm a slow reader. So 37 pages takes a bit of time. But it takes the place of TV. It takes the place of doing useless shit that uh, just should not be done anyway. So that's challenge number one. Try reading 37 pages a day. That'll get you to almost a book a week. And everyone can do it. No excuses. Um, So then I'm reading this book, Practicing Mind. And there's a lot you get, you can get from this book that I'm not going to cover in this podcast. I'm going to cover two very specific things. And there are two mistakes I make. One is I rush. Even as I'm talking right now, I realize I'm talking a bit too fast. And my brain will think things that will automatically come out of my mouth. And and that happens a fair bit. So with work, I rush. I try to do more than one thing at once. I try to finish something by... Deadlines are very good. That's the thing. Deadlines are good, but we have to focus on the process and not the time nor the end goal which comes to the second mistake i'm making is i love daydreaming and thinking about goals and my ideal i want a big farm and and lots of land here in alberta and i want um a house in italy that's my two big goals um for you know whenever so i think a lot about those things i think about Um, trips I want to go on. I think about where I want the business to be. I'm always thinking about where I want things to be. And I'm, I'm very, I need to focus more on appreciating where I am. I just got this house in August. It's, I'm blessed to have this house. It just, it was a fortunate purchase compared to everything else I was looking at. This is incredible. It has an office. This office is, was already in here. Those books I had it and the scotch that you might see behind, I added as well. Um, But instead of looking, always looking at the end goal, I, this book really opened my eyes uh, and really helped me reset uh, the notion that I have to focus more on not only what I'm doing in the moment, but the art of getting better at what I'm doing. The goal should not be the goal should not be to earn a million dollars in a year. It's a nice goal to have, but the goal should be to learn how to dot 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 depending on what business you're in. The goal should be how to learn how to become a great salesman, to learn how to write sales copy to learn how to market, to learn how to build a profitable business that makes a million dollars a year. The learning is the goal. When you focus on the learning, the results come. I remember when I was playing basketball many a year ago, same thing with boxing. Um, When I was shooting free throws, when I picture the ball going through the hoop, at the end of the shot, it would be good. Like you want to visualize and stuff. 
I hit most of them. But when I when I focused on okay, three dribbles, spin the ball up, finish with a loose hand, this finger, last one hitting the ball, whatever, just the mechanics of a shot, keeping my shoulders square or whatever, however you shoot. When I focused on the mechanics and the process, I ended up a there was no nerves, depending like no matter what the game was, there were no nerves. And I would hit a lot more, uh, uh, far more shots than I would if I was just picturing the end result. With boxing, how would that work? With boxing, um, it wasn't so much learning the punches, but it was paying attention to the opponent rather than just trying to knock that sucker out. It was paying attention to his little movements. Okay, he's got a jab. Okay, he's going jab, jab, right hook. It's a pattern. and Okay, boom, 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 block. And the, the knockout and the punishing blow would come. So when you're focusing on the process, um, you end up getting better results anyway. So no matter what work you are doing, be it even, we're talking um, going on hikes, challenging things, uh, spending time with family, your work, work is very important. When you're focusing on, so when I'm focusing on the process of becoming a better writer. The goal of becoming a better writer happens far more quickly, but also the results of becoming a better writer or writing sales copy or whatever I'm doing um, increase far faster. So the two challenges or the two things this author really um, made me, and well, the reason why I want to, uh, put them in a podcast partially is so I remember them. So they're not just things that I learn from a book and then the next book comes and pushes that stuff out of my little brain. I want to keep these things in mind um, every day from here on out. So the two things I'm doing, well, three things, reading 37 pages a day. That's very important. Second, I'm going very slow, no matter what I'm doing, washing dishes, cleaning the yard, um, obviously writing, working, answering emails, all these different things. I got to get answer emails, but all these different things, I'm going very slow. And what you find out when you're going very slow is you force yourself to pay attention to every detail in what you're doing. And it's incredibly powerful. It's, it's, uh, he slipped it into this book. He didn't talk about it a lot, but that really hit home is to go a lot slower. It's a great way to stay in the present. And the second thing I'm doing is I'm setting, I've got my goals, the big goals, the turn this into X amount of dollars business annually. Um, you know, the Italy thing, the big piece of land here. I've got those goals, but um, with work, set goals of learning how to write sales copy learning how to become a great sales copywriter or learning how to become a great writer or learning how to become a great marketer. Learning these things will lead to learning how to manage money, learning how to um, delay gratification. All these different things will lead to the end goals that we all want. So those two kind of three things is all I want to leave you with. Uh, this book is worth picking up. You can read it in four days if you're doing 37 pages a day. The Practicing Mind, Thomas Sterner. It's a good book. Highly recommend it. Um, it'll bring you into the process of becoming very good or great at what you're doing. And hopefully this podcast has helped you out. I will put the links below along with links to an article that accompany this. So yeah, have at it. And uh, start with the 37 pages a day. That's a good goal. It's, it's done wonders for me and cutting out TV and cutting out all these unnecessary things that we do. 37 pages had to be done before any of that crap enters your life. All right, guys. That's it. That's uh, another episode of Man Up. Uh, yeah, and so when we're talking about manning up, what we're talking about is taking responsibility of your life. And this is something I need to do more in my life. Books like this help help that out. They help us um you know focus more on the present focus more on what we're doing and avoid the future of oh i'd rather be doing this i wish i was doing that things aren't fair 
and, and and things that pull you away from the present. Men are much more powerful. Everyone's much more powerful when they're in the present doing what they are here to do. So pick up this book. Have an awesome day and kick some ass. Take care. Oh.